Hi, I'm Alan McKenzie. I work here at Lowell Mongolo Water Quality Control Centre for Icon Water and the operations team. In the operations team, we work a shift roster. So we work a seven to seven day, which is a 12 hour shift. Uh, this entails doing day shifts and night shifts. We also work on call. So for seven days, we can get called out if someone is sick or we need extra staff to assist us. As a part of my role here at Lowell Mwanglo, I control the influent coming into the plant. These flows can exceed up to 10,000 litres a second. My favourite part about working within the operations team is the community that I work with. Everyone's very supportive and we're all here to achieve the same goal, which is to ensure the plant is running smoothly. Some of the difficulties that I face in my day-to-day -day job are such as pipe blockages or equipment failures. Some of these equipment failures are caused by wet wipes or fat building up within the line. The influence of this plant goes through a screening process. Within this screening process, all the screens or any solid materials gets removed and this gets added to our sludge holding tank. The product from the sludge holding tank gets bumped across to the centrifuges, which creates a dewatered product. This dewatered product goes into a multi-half furnace. At the end of the process of the multi-half furnace, it comes out as agri-ash. Now that you've seen the furnace process, this is the dewatered product that you would have seen go through the furnace. And this is the end product, which is agri-ash, which gets used for fertilizer. Hi, I'm Shane. I'm a senior shift supervisor at Lowell Malungalo Water Quality Control Centre, Australia's largest inland wastewater treatment plant. Part of my day involves overseeing the operation, monitoring and control of the biological, mechanical and chemical treatment processes uh, at Lowell Malungalo. One of the great things I enjoy about my role is that we take Canberra's wastewater and turn it from this and through our mechanical chemical and biological processes, we release it back into the environment looking like this. The pride I take in producing the quality wastewater is then releasing it back into the Lower Malongolo River, which is just downstream of the plant, right before uh, merging in with the confluence of the Murrumbidgee River and flowing down into Burrinjuk Dam. And then together, Burrinjuk Dam and Blaring Dam form the headworks of the Murrumbidgee River and the broader Murray-Darling Basin. So this water serves a lot of people downstream.